Hello, 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 and welcome back to Comrade Lev Plays Victoria 3. This is our Prussia to Germany run, and Germany is looking quite nice and chunky here. Now, there has actually been a patch just dropped, so hopefully everything will be nice and compatible. A um, few little changes uh, that I've noticed so far. Government wages are a bit different. You now get some good boot boosts to um, higher wages so you get increased authority uh, for government wages and um, better uh, morale and projection for your military wages let's just jack that up my income's looking quite good what I've done is I've just been through all my tariffs and just put them all on whatever seems to be making the most money hopefully that doesn't mess anything up uh, just to remind you of our government this is where we see the other change they've done something with legitimacy um i think it's something like the more people you have in your government the higher your legitimacy will have the more factions although this will make it harder or slower to pass new laws but really most of our laws are are where we want them so that should be okay there's nothing we urgently need there there are obviously lots of other changes, but those are the two sort of immediate things you'll see. Uh, you'll see um, in your first your first few bits of gameplay. Let's go. We are currently building a load of power plants. Yeah, we're electrifying. So we're going into Bohemia. I think that's where I've got the most peasants. And I can just about afford to bring my taxes right down to the lowest. Uh, do I want to do that? No, let's build up a reserve, shall we? We haven't got we haven't got hardly any reserves, so we'll just keep that up there. We've got our wages up max as well, so um, we've got plenty of spare change in our budget. And we're still at a huge amount of infamy, 49. So although we want to take another chunk out of Austria, we're going to have to wait a little while first for that. And with those revolutionary uh, components gone, the springtime of peoples completed. The revolution victorious. We'll take loyalists rather than legitimacy because we have got full legitimacy at the moment. Great. So that was the liberal revolution, really. Next thing we want to be looking to is the, uh, the proletariat revolution and see if we can go over to Council Republic. We'll see how we get on. Okay, so we just unlocked steel passenger carriers. Let's put that in. And, uh... Let's put that in there. Let's just see if that gives us... Uh, takes away a bit of infrastructure, but I think it'll be worth it. We'll just build a few more, shall we? Now, we're still turning a good profit, uh, even with a full construction stack. And we've got a nice big backlog. So let's uh, stick a few more construction centres in... Yeah, whack a load in there. Right, no rush, but let's see if we can pass public health insurance. And that is urbanised Germany. Successful. S shines like never before. And just because it was a bit, uh, it was a bit close last time we fought Austria. Let's just uh, head that off by getting a load more barracks in. Got some rubber rushes, that's good. And, ooh, more liberal thought. Okay. Uh, yeah, fine. Ah, so the trade unions have split off from the uh, the old Rainbow Coalition, as we were calling it. Um, they're on their own, and they're still only moderate as well, so uh, not ideal. We want them to be vanguardist or communist or something. We can give them a bit more momentum though, yeah. We've still got oh, four or five million peasants. I think what I might just do is once the queue's emptied out a bit, is just build a load of resource stuff um, so I can get it done a bit more quickly in my factories, just to stop people from being peasants, basically. Let's put some farms, put logging camps, mines, stuff like that. On the elections in. Yeah, 
Yeah, and the election's in. Uh, what can we do? Oh, if we kick this out, yeah, presumably. Really low legitimacy. So we need them guys in. I want to keep them in. Let's just leave it how it is then, I guess. I'll just bring those in as well. That takes it down. Okay. Well, public health insurance has failed pretty much. Um, maybe that's a sign of what I was talking about with too many opposing parties uh, in the government. Um, Alright, well, I'm not that bothered about that. We'll do try again another time. Ah, coal-fired power plants. Mm, we do have lots of coal. But that says it's going to cost a lot more. Uh, let's do it now. We've got the coal for it. Let's try. What do we want next? Let's get malaria prevention for our uh, colonies. We can get our law enforcement up to five. Brilliant. Okay, and with all those power plants, let's see uh, what we can do here. Electric. So that says there's still be a shortage of electricity. Am I not staffing my power plants very well? No, I'm not doing it at all. Maybe if I create a demand. Let's create the demand and see what happens. Yeah. What else can we do? Yeah, electric sawmills. And electric fences. Okay. It's dying to. Might just tick this down a bit. I don't know if 120 was too many. It's half a million people. Let's go to 100. That's a round number. Just going through, trying to upgrade to anything that uses electricity. So, yeah, Brian Electrolysis, that'd be good. And we got the Ripper. Brilliant. That's more authority, which we need looking at it. Right, and that bilk is more or less empty. So let's see what resources and agriculture we can... Uh, we need. Wine, sugar. I can get that with... Wheat farms and rye farms. Yeah, let's just stick it where we've got lots of peasants, shall we? Should put some logging camps into. So obviously that's loads of uh, buildings in the build queue, but these things don't take anywhere near as long to build as a, as a factory does. Just trying to get people jobs, basically. Trying to get the peasants off their subsistence farms into something productive. And tax paying. I've got a bit of an engine shortage apparently as well, so let's put them at the front of the queue. Where are my engines? Poison. Down to 25 in for me, so uh, not long now before we'll have another crack at Austria. We've got 550 battalions. They've got 477, so pretty close still. Uh, we'll probably need some sort of help. We are still on skirmish infantry. Maybe we want trench works. Yeah, you know what? Let's just research that now. And it is the last of the monarchists. We've been Republican for many years now. Yeah, we must put the past behind us. Fine. Let's have another crack at universal healthcare. Okay, so that's ironclad unlocked. That's good. We can now move over to steamships, which I think we definitely want to do. Yes. Um, and we want to do... Uh, military shipbuilding as well for ironclads. And then let's have a look at one. Our ports should be industrial. Yeah, that will use steamers. And do we upgrade these as well? The man of wars. 
Ironclads. Ironclads, not Manor Wars. Yeah, we're all... Uh, we have got hardly any naval bases. We can't really do naval invasions or see naval warfare at all, really, with 15 naval bases. But uh, all our fights are on the mainland where, you know, Prussia, Germany, we're a, we're a military, you know, a land force power, not a naval power. So I think that's okay, really. Coal is expensive, apparently. Let's just stick those to the front of the queue, please. Uh, where are our coal mines? Silesia, of course. Definitely going to run out of peasants there. That's human rights unlocked, and hopefully, or maybe, that will lead to s feminism. Um, because we've still got pretty bad uh, rights for women laws. Alright, we're still making great money. Let's build some more construction centres. Yeah, Bohemia, why not? No, we have it. Public health insurance. Great. Right, straight away. We'll jack that up. Level 4. If we might run out of bureaucracy, don't know, but we'll uh, just take some um, government administration in if we need to see. Now, it says I've got a clipper shortage, but I don't get that because I've moved my ports over. Oh, it's the fishing wharfs. Okay, okay. Yeah, you should be using steamers. Brilliant. So, our, we've had a border conflict. Our soldiers regularly perform manoeuvres near the border of Austria. Having our troops parade all over the border, as it were nothing to them, could be a useful display of power, especially if we frame it as an accident. So, they'll lose prestige, and it will give them infamy. I th that feels like that's wrong. It should give me infamy, to be honest, but it would give them 28 infamy. Or, I just slightly annoy the interest. No, let's different. Right, let's double check this. This isn't... Our infamy is 15. This, sa this is saying it will give it to Austria. Excellent idea. Yeah, didn't give us him for me. <laughs> that's a good, that's a good event. That's... Hasn't given them in for me either, though. Hmm. Okay, fine, whatever. All right, we've got quite expensive ammo on our market too. I'm going to stick some of these into the front of the queue. Some munition plants. Let's just improve our relations with everybody but Austria, I guess. Or oh, France. No, we'll leave them for now because we might want Alsace-Lorraine as well. It's good. America's having a civil war from the looks of it. Yeah. Yeah, communists. Good. Thank you, another. Now, we're still making loads of money that I feel like we could... Uh, Oil and West Galicia. Hmm. I would like those. Don't think we've got any oil, have we? No. Uh, we're still making good money, um, but I don't want to build any more construction centres. What I want to do is move over to steel frame buildings, really. I've got too much. Uh, my trench work's just nearly done. I think after that, can we go straight over to it? It's in society, isn't it? Yeah, steel frame buildings. We'll get that next. And there is trench works. So we want to move over to that if we can. Trench infantry. Yes, we can. Very good. Uh, it takes about a year for that to... You get a debuff for about a year before that comes into effect. So maybe in a year's time, that's when we want to make a move on the Austrians. Yeah, still have to keep the same government there with the election in. If we go just to the trade unions, we'll uh, get way too many radicals. Okay, what was I saying we wanted next? Yes, steel frame buildings, absolutely. It's only going to take 14 months, that's good. Now, I think we could even... 
We've got a good, nice, healthy reserve. 47 million. Let's take taxes down even more, shall we? Looking good. Looking really good. Lowest taxes, highest wages. Still making a good lot of money with a full build queue. That's good. And for our next... Hey, there we go. Hey, there we go. Steel frame buildings. So let's see what this does to our finances. If we switch over to steel frame buildings. Yeah, we might have to put taxes up again. Glass and steel. Well, we can do something about that. Glass, explosives, steel. All expensive. Right. In the first instance, let's import. In the second instant, let's build a load of glassworks. And a load of steel mills. I'm thinking let's continue down military. Yeah, let's get war gaming, nice quick one. All turning a profit there, actually, with that nearly double bill queue. Looking good. It's the investment pool that's doing it for me, look. 200 huge amounts of my investment pool. A million. Bloody hell. Yeah, so it's basically paying for all my construction. Still haven't managed to reduce my peasants at all. Still four and a half million. With a load of unemployed as well. Hmm. And looking at laws, let's see if we can get compulsory primary school. This will make it so that we can uh, increase our education institution up to five. Let's do it. Right, and as our infamy hits zero, let's see if the Austrians want to play. I think the states we want, we want definitely want Tyrol, because it's got lots of Germans in it. Ugh. A lot of allies, as they ever do. See if we can get the French on our side, maybe. So, we've unlocked our oil rigs. We can build some in Elba. Good. Okay, they've got the Italians, Serbians, the Ottomans, the Chinese, and of course the Polish of Krakow. Let's see who we can get in. Yes, right, we want the French. What do you want? You want to humiliate the Austrians. Perfect. That goes perfectly along with what I want. So let's see if that gets them on side. Russia sided with Austria, not good. Let's see if we can get the British as well. What do you want? You want to force open the Chinese market. Uh, or you want to conquer the Chinese. Okay. So maybe if we do that, then you'll just keep the Chinese busy. Okay. So France, Britain and Germany against Austria, Italy, Serbia, Ottomans, Chinese and the Russians. I think they are outnumbering us still. Right, let's get mobilised. We need some more generals. And normally we don't need a lot on the Russian front. Let's get one army defending there, one army defending here. The French can deal with this. You guys, everyone else. Attack. Of course, if we've got any more 
maneuver left. Yeah, we do. 60 maneuvers. Let's see what else we can grab off them. Definitely taking Tyrol. Do we want South Tyrol? I think that's lots of Germans there too. But I can't. I guess I don't have dip diplomatic interest there. That's fine. Let's go for Syria. Oh, I've got fronts down here with Russia as well. Ha ha ha. Yeah, oh, okay. Well, I want Russian... Russian Nigeria, Russian Gabon, and Russian Congo. I'd like all those, really. Let's go for Gabon. Not get anything else. And... Congo. And you know what? We'll take out Krakow as well. It's giving me a load of infamy, has it? Yeah, not a rageous amount, but I need to move some troops over, don't I? To these different fronts. Yes, I do. Into what are my smaller armies? Stick one here. One here. One here. Hopefully they wrap up quickly and then I can uh, move them back to Europe. The French are here as well, that's good. Oh, I've got a tiny little front with Krakow, that's so annoying. Right, let's shift someone there. Okay, so I'm a bit outnumbered here. On the west, on the south, my, basically my Austrian front. Let's just get everyone defending. On that front, yeah, and then once hopefully I can clear up the clear up in Africa quickly, and then I can move them to an aggressive stance. But let's just while uh, we're outnumbered, here we go, two arms. taking on the Italians mainly, it looks like. That's good. As long as we're not losing here. Nope. Losing to the Russians. No, good. We're pushing on this front. Good. Then that, that should then shift them directly over to this one straight away, I think. British are trying to push. Unsuccessfully. What about in Africa? Yeah, taking those already. Oh, it's wiped all that straight away. So have they all moved over now? Get on this front. There we have it. Compulsory primary school. That's good news. And it means we can increase our education investment to level 5. Fantastic. Yes, and we've made our first push into Austria there, into Tyrell as well. Russians aren't causing us any problems, and they've had an uprising. <laughs> Still haven't taken Krakow, though. Yeah, they're holding us off. That's war gaming unlocked. Let's go for defense in depth. Anarchism unlocked. Hooray. Hopefully we get some people convert over and then that'll help us get Council Republic. Oh, look, and they're pushing to Russia too. And with an empty build queue, or an emptying build queue, let's get a load of lead mines in. Uh, let's do Bavaria, because they've got lots of free peasants. You know what, let's stick a few in Silesia as well. That's where I like to put all my mines. Um, Sulfur's pretty expensive too. But yeah, you can take some stacks and eat. Serbia's out.
Ostia is out. Who's left in it now? Italy's out. It's the Chinese now. Oh, and Russia. Fine. Oh, look, and Slovakia have won their independence. Interesting. And we've got some nice new regions here. And not yet here, because we haven't taken the Russians out yet. Fine. I'll get to that front then, boys. Oh dear, look in Austria. Stop at a poor revolt. Got silk shortage apparently, but I can't build any silk plantations. Oh well. Yeah, the Austrians have had a check uprising as well. These might be a bit easier to pick. I might be able to pick these guys off actually if I don't mind the infamy. Oh. Oh, look, and the trade unions have joined the Free Minded People's Party again. I guess because she's a radical now. They've joined back. Fine. Let's go for pneumatic tools. It says resource ch discovery chance goes up. I'm hoping that'll mean I'm more likely to find oil. Don't know, but hopefully. Yeah, Austria's an absolute mess. Look at this. Fighting. Who's that Moldova involved? Check uprising. Can't attack you yet, but I'm sure we can at some point. And Russia are out of the war now. It's literally just the Chinese. I don't know if we've even got a front with them, have we? No. Do you just want to peace out, China? I don't think we can do anything until we get a... We technically haven't humiliated the Austrians yet, apparently. Don't really like my chances of uh, name invasion. Let's get an admiral and see what we can do. 15 boats. I wonder how many the uh, Chinese have got. Well, 29. Okay, it's not a huge difference. But we have overtaken the British now in prestige with the second uh, greatest power. A little way behind the French, but not too far behind. Alright, let's get a load of rubber plantations in. We can do. Plenty of space for them. That's good. Uh, we could also do with some tea plantations. Yeah, nice load of them. 40 of them. Be good. Anything else? Pie? Yeah. Bit of coffee. A bit of tobacco. I guess that's building all that rubber's opened up from our new our new African territories we stole off the Russians. And we can actually, without having done anything to the Chinese. We've got some death somewhere. We can press the peace deal on them and we can humiliate Austria with that as well, it's great. Boom, which solidifies all our gains, right. We better sort out all our building methods. I feel like something else the uh, patch might have done is increase the amount of ports you can build. Because uh, that seems like a lot. 16, and I haven't even, I don't think I've even got everything researched. Feminism unlocked. Good, hopefully that will... Uh... Let me do some laws. Can I do anything straight away? No, I need some parties, some interest groups to move over to feminism, I think. Hopefully that happens. Uh, but the other thing that popped up there was more oil rigs, it looks like. We all discovered in Hanover. Fantastic. Okay, and with an empty uh, tech... Uh, Q, let's go over to Rayon for synthetic plants so I can build my own, I can make my own synthetic silk because I've got a shortage of it. Yeah, let's just stick some more mines down, I guess, where we've got the most peasants. This isn't really about the mines, this is more about getting the peasants out. Belgium will join my customs union, apparently. Yeah, why not? I do have enough rubber for bicycle messengers, which is good, because normally I don't, but um, 
Let's do that just for our barracks. We won't worry about our conscripts. I never actually use a conscript, so I'm just keeping them all on the on the worst uh, on the worst stuff because we don't use them, so we don't want to waste the money. And upgrade our navy, though. We could go to a modern port. We've got the oil for it. Yeah, let's do it. Now meat is relatively expensive, so let's stick a load of livestock farms down. This is more of our moving up the peasants. Put. We'll get some more construction sectors in as well. We've jumped rank there. Just popped over the French, number one. Biggest GDP in the world, it looks like. Most prestige. Fantastic. Didn't last long, look. We're back down to number two. <laughs> okay, so that is Art Silk and the Pasteurization Unlocked. So we can upgrade our production methods for what? Fishing wharfs? Yep. And livestock farms? Yep. Oh, that's going to make a lot of money. Um, and we can build some synthetic plants. Sure. Let's stick it in Brandenburg. Okay. So like that could be too many. Uh, but we want them to do, yeah, rayon, so it makes silk. Then we can change this over to elastics. We can't do that at the moment because we haven't got enough silk. Should have enough rubber though, hopefully. Should do have enough rubber. Yeah, and I guess we'll get telephone next, because that then leads on to radio, which we can use to um we'll need for even better infantry. Okay, that's my synthetic plants there, so let's change textile mills over to last still got a shortage of silk apparently. Have you not hired anybody? No. Let's move over and then they'll then there'll be a demand for them to hire. The bolt action rifle. Good, let's upgrade our arms industries. Takes a bit of oil, but it looks like we've got enough. Okay, so the elections are in again, and what we can do now is kick out the petty bourgeois Z, because they're no longer in the party. Yeah, good for legitimacy. Bring the armed forces in actually. Do I want to? They're moderate, no stances. Well, we don't need them then. Move to, we can move over from mercantilism to protectionism. I think that'll be really good for our tariffs actually. That'll make us a bit more money. Yeah, 100k, good. Now, with our infamy down just to six or seven, let's look at Alsace Lorraine. France, Brazil, and Majid. Where's that? In India, maybe? Um, not too shabby. It's not so bad. Let's uh, let's see who we can sway. We can always back out if we need to. One very small front there. I'm not going to go through <laughs> Netherlands and Belgium. Although that is a valid tactic. I'm sure someone else could do that. Alright, who can we join? Nobody wants to sway with us. Well, if they didn't get involved either way... Ugh, Britain had joined them. Ah, oh, great. Protectionism, straight away. Fantastic. Really good for our economy, that. Uh, we've got French borders here, presumably. Yes, we have. We want French Gabon. Uh, 
I dearly want South Cameroon as well. Oh, it's a lot of infamy though. Yeah, too much. Where's French Congo? Can't find it. No, that is here. Yeah, we do. Well, I take that French Congo then. Okay. But no one else we can persuade to join our side. Britain aren't happy. I think we'll be okay. Okay, so let's get some of our 50s, our smaller armies, over in France. Uh, fight the French in Africa. Good. And get the rest mobilised. And stick them all on this front. On defending. Everyone else trying to advance. There it is, the outbreak of war. Let's go. Our first offensive is beaten back on the French border. How are we doing in Africa? Oh, nobody's reached there yet. Oh, we have reached there and they haven't put anyone there. Brilliant. Looks like we're just going to sweep that up. It's fantastic. And then they can just pull back. And no one's really managing to push against the other. Okay, that's telephone unlocked. Let's get a load of electric industries. Where can we stick them? I guess we'll stick it where we've got peasants. North Rhine? Fifty should do it. And we want to straight away carry that on through to radio here. Yeah, and we can move that over to radio production as well. Jesus, they've got a lot of troops on that front. And I've got everybody on that front too, yeah. Make sure at least we were defending. Follow up with this update, it's much harder to see. Let me ask better. It seems a little harder to see where your gains are. None of us none of us can push against the other. I guess if they've got trench troops they've got have they got Yeah, they've got trench troops too. The French have got trench troops. Which are really good at defending and not that great at pushing. Their war support's hit zero, but it won't go... Oh, great British are out. They've got their own rebellion going on, look. Fantastic. It's pushed the British out of this war, but they've still got... Way too many troops. There must be loads of conscripts. Uh, so their war support is at zero, but it won't go down any further. Because we haven't got uh, alsace Lorraine. We haven't captured it. Come on, we should be able to push it at some point. And we just do not have the numbers to push any further. Frustrating, because our wall support is going to tick down too from exhaustion as well. Half a million dead. They've lost more. It's cost them more. But without that territory, they won't they won't give it up without grabbing that territory. Oh! They've actually pushed me there! That's not good. 
Well, they will take a white piece. I think we need to. Failure in our war against France. Well, at least we didn't have to pay reparations. We are losing money, though. Big time. Yeah, we're losing money. We're not even building anything. Unhealthy economy. It's all in a bit of a mess. Trade routes, shortages, low market access, isolated regions. Uh, expensive goods, unhealthy economy. Right, it's all a bit of a mess. That was a bit of a botch job there. We just couldn't push through all those French bloody conscripts. Um to take Alsace-Lorraine. Uh, not good. We're going to have to have another crack at that at some point. But our infamy is pretty high as well and that's really hurt the radicals. We've got 23 states in turmoil due to radicals. Most of Germany from the looks of it. So, things are looking a bit poor at the end there. So we'll have to try and turn things around. But we will try that next time. Until then, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you then. Take care. Goodbye.